Hello today. And today we're going to have a game of Black Viper on the Commodore Amiga. And this is a game request by Ashley Farnham. Okay. So this is a game I never had back in the day and it's a motorbike futuristic game. Now this game comes on five discs. Um, but the first disc you don't really need because it's just an intro disc. And this is not the intro by the way. Um, it's just telling you about the bike. Right. Okay. So it's a shoot 'em up sort of racing game. Don't have this racing element to it, but right, a skill. I'm gonna have it on easy. Sequence is on. Now, so that's a two-button joystick. We could have um, the um, CD32 controller if you wanted to. Well, I'm going to have a two-button joystick. Well, I've got a two-button controller, but I think it's going to make life easy or easier. Hopefully it'll work, because I've only had a test run of it, and I'll test it on normal uh, joystick. Right, info rebel base. Okay. So, select a soundtrack. Okay, that's interesting. We'll just go to OK. I think that'll just give us sound effects. Now, it does um, work with all four discs in for the drives. Well, this is emulation. But if you had uh, an Amiga 1200 or whatever, it's still full to go. Hang on, what's going on here? So, okay, don't worry about that then. So, Okay, graphics look alright. Don't like the colours that much, but it's supposed to be in the future. You know, get off apocalyptic world, I guess. So where where the colours will shit. <laughs> so we've got some nice music going on. I didn't even select the music. Fucking hell. Oh fuck it! Oh, what was that? Innocent. Oh, right, okay. Sorry. I think, I think my second button is to choose weapons, actually. Maybe I was better off to pick the, um, the CD32 controller. I mean, it moves along quite nicely. Now I don't know if this is the AGA version. I am running this on Amiga 1200 settings, but this is the only image, disk images I can find, or I've got, I should say. Fuck it. So you are on the clock in this game. I think I'm supposed to be picking these up. Sound effects sound good, music sounds good. Ooh! I mean, it reminds me, the road reminds me of Batman the movie. I don't know if they're using the same game engine here, but it does look more smoother and faster oh, um, over the Batman game. That was an ST pop, I believe, believe. And I did have that back in the day. Come through with my Amiga 500 actually. I bought that second hand. <laughs> but it was the Batman pack, I remember that. Oh, fuck it, blew up. Was that it? Looks like it. Some time has passed. Okay, death. Oh, I'm dead then. Oh well, never mind. Right. So 
So if I had this back in the day, I, I reckon I would have played it quite a lot, actually. All right, let's have a look at the options again. And let's change, hang on. So there are different options of controls then. Okay, let's try that. Let's try the CD32 controller. See if it makes any difference. But I ain't got the instruction book, so I can't tell what. Oh, hang on, music. All right, so you can choose it on and off. Apocalypse. Why not? Right. See, if I only had this back in the day, I probably would have had to do a lot of disc swapping because I only had the single. So how do I speed up then? Hey! I don't know what the fuck I've done. Oh, don't tell me it's crashed the fucking game. So, having that option crashes the fucking game. Okay. I don't know what I've done, but... No, it's crashed the fucking game. Oh, dear. Trust me to get... The only ROM I could get, and it's a dodgy ROM. Anyway. Yeah, but... If I had that back in the day, I reckon I would have played it quite a lot. Because it is a good game, actually. It's nice and fast. Obviously, I would have got a lot further <laughs> if I um, had it back in the day. Um... That was my first ever go. I did have a quick test run to see if it worked, but that was my first go. But yeah, my first impression, it's quite good. It's quite good. It's nice and fast. Frame rate's really good. Yeah, I do like that game. It's only didn't last. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.